Hey everybody, it's another late night video. I just have me looking at this motherboard. It is really blows my mind. This is my old Soyo P4X400 Dragon Ultra. It's like a 14 8 P4 motherboard, depending on 4 board. That was made, I believe, in 2002. <clears throat> and the thing I'm talking about tonight is capacitors, bad capacitors. This board was taken out of service in early 2009. This board was pretty much, I bought it from e from eBay as new old stock. It was like new in the, um, not new in its original box, but it hadn't been used before. Never been used at all. And the reason why I had to take it out of service was because I had a basic RAM one time, and probably can't see, but so I can zoom this thing in a little bit. You might be able to see. In dim slot number one, you can see that melted spot. What happened was I had a faulty stick of RAM. It was either a faulty stick of RAM or one of the pins had got bent and touched another one and created a short. So this board is pretty much toast. And like I said, I took it out of service. And I think it was like March of 2009. And I'm making this video in May 2011. Look at all these bad capacitors on the CPU VRM. When this motherboard was taken out of service, this cap was bulging, and this cap was bulging, and only this one was actually leaking a little bit. But this really blows my mind that these Sacon capacitors, which are a really crappy brand, are GSEs and Abercons, pretty much the same thing. These capacitors bloated up and popped. While this thing, while this whole board was just tacked up here on the wall. Over two or three years or so, these caps just decided to just pop open and ooze out their electrolyte. And this one here, it actually went out with a bang. I was in here doing something on the computer, and all of a sudden I hear a huge, all of a sudden I hear a really loud pow. Can't figure out what, what it was until I looked up here and I saw a giant hole in this capacitor. And then a day later, it started oozing out the stuff. And these are Sacon, let me see. Sacon 2200 microfarad at 2. Um, at 6.3 volts. I'm tired, so I ain't speaking right, so anyways. The only one that's not bulging. This little guy here. At least for these 6.3 volt caps. What really blows my mind though is about these here. Those are also SACON, but the K's on top of them look like Rubicons. This is usually how Rubicon capacitors look. Notice they're all fine. And if I'm not mistaken, back when this motherboard was still in service, when those first two capacitors were starting to bulge, I was already having difficulty overclocking this motherboard. This motherboard used to overclock a Pentium 4, 2.4B CPU, all the way to 2.8 and 2.9. That's why I pushed it to 2.9 gigahertz when these capacitors started to fail. I guess that really put some stress on them. Of course, crappy capacitors. And this motherboard was back from the age of capacitor plague early 2000s. It really blows my mind though that this epidemic is still going on in 2011 even with newer components. Like for instance that power that um that Dyna Power Cherry Red Power Supply made a video about had some bad capacitors in it. Originally what, what caused capacitor plague was a guy from Rubicon had created well, it had started on a new electrolyte formula, but it wasn't finished. It needed an anti-corrosion agent. It was still missing that, but some other clerks stole the formula unfinished <clears throat> and more or less distributed to all these Chinese companies, and they used the formula. And about a few months later, they realized that millions and millions of their capacitors had the flaw formula and were failing. For example, looking like this and those up there. 
what happens is the electrolyte breaks down and creating a gas inside these cans and that creates pressure making these capacitors vent and they dry out see originally this stuff was wet but now it's dry anyways that's my little little video about this board it ain't my first video but anyways any questions or comments let me know